It was a rainy night in 2020 in Florida. What the researchers witnessed on that lake shore left them completely shocked. Several creatures began emerging from the water. They weren't alligators, they weren't snakes. They were something much worse. They slithered out of the water, crawling across the grass toward the frogs croaking on the shore. Within seconds, with a swift and precise movement, they captured their prey and returned to the water. What you just heard isn't science fiction. It's the terrifying reality of a predator that arrived in Florida and could be far more devastating than the famous Burmese pythons. Today I'm going to tell you about the invader that has made. American authorities ask the population to do something frightening. Cut its head off immediately if they find one. This predator arrived in Florida more than 20 years ago. First, it appeared in a specific region of the southern part of the state. For years, authorities thought they had the situation under control. It was confined to a small area. But in 2020, 155 miles away, on Florida's Gulf Coast, a terrifying discovery. A new population had established itself. This meant only one thing. Someone had transported these creatures there. Authorities acted immediately. Using nets, electrofishing, and even lethal chemicals like rotenone, they managed to remove nearly 400 of these predators from a single pond. Along with them, they removed seven other invasive species. But what makes this creature so special? Why does it cause such panic that authorities need to poison entire ponds? First, this creature has a characteristic that defies all laws of aquatic nature. It breathes air. That's right, it can survive out of water for several days, as long as its skin remains moist. It crawls across land from one body of water to another, conquering new territories like a true terrestrial invader. And as you saw in the Florida case, it hunts on land. During that rainy night in 2020, researchers observed something rarely seen in nature. These creatures leaving the water to hunt frogs on the shore. They position themselves, make a quick twisting movement of their body toward the prey, capture it, and return to the water. Their mouth is equipped with sharp, pointed teeth, perfect for piercing and holding prey that tries to escape. In water, they are extremely efficient ambush predators. Their appearance is the stuff of nightmares. Imagine a creature with a flattened head, penetrating red eyes that seem to watch you with predatory intelligence. Their body has patterns reminiscent of a python, with colors that darken with age until forming intimidating black spots. They feed on small fish, crustaceans, but also attack turtles, frogs, lizards, snakes, and even insects. Basically, anything that moves becomes food. They can grow up to 3 feet in length and weigh up to 15 pounds. Their tolerance for stagnant and polluted waters, due to their ability to breathe air, makes them practically indestructible in many aquatic environments. And now we come to the most frightening aspect of all. Remember the Burmese pythons of Florida? They lay up to a maximum of 100 eggs at a time, a reproductive capacity we already considered terrifying. This mysterious creature? A single female can carry an average of 4,700 eggs ready for spawning. This means a single female can produce more than 40 times more offspring than a Burmese python. It's an absolutely devastating reproductive capacity. They reproduce mainly from March to May, with a second peak in August. The parents even care for the young until they reach 6 inches in length, creating true armies of small predators. If you're enjoying this content about biological invaders, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. Now I'm going to reveal the identity of this biological nightmare. About is the snakehead fish, scientifically known as Chana Aralineata. And no, it's not an exaggeration to say it could be worse than Florida's pythons. Now you understand why. The first snakehead population was discovered in Florida in October of 2000, specifically in the Broward County region. Since then, they have spread through South Florida's extensive canal system, invading Miami-Dade and Palm Beach County. 
For years, authorities thought they had the situation under control. The snakehead seemed confined to South Florida, limited by temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit that are lethal to them. But in 2020, the discovery in Manatee County changed everything. Not only because it was a new population, but because genetic analyzes revealed something concerning. These fish were genetically identical to those from the original Broward County population. This confirmed that someone had transported these predators there. If it happened once, it could happen again. Anywhere. But the threat doesn't stop in Florida. These fish have already spread across several American states, and each discovery brings new horrors. Maryland was the first state to detect their presence in 2002 in a pond in Crofton. Authorities reacted drastically. They poured rotenone into the entire pond, killing all the fish to eliminate the threat. Six adults and more than 1,000 juveniles died. Problem solved? No. Two years later, snakeheads appeared in the Potomac River, and now they're established in various river systems along the East Coast. Missouri is one of the most recent states to sound the alarm. In 2024, they confirmed the fourth snakehead capture in the state. Missouri authorities are direct. Cut off the head, remove the guts, or place in a sealed plastic bag to kill the fish. What's most impressive is that they manage to reach places where theoretically they shouldn't be. In New York, when they discovered a population, authorities poisoned the waters with liquid rotenone to eliminate all fish in the area. The control measures are so drastic they're frightening. In all states where they've been detected, authorities ask for the same thing, kill immediately. It's illegal to transport, sell, buy, or possess snakeheads in the United States under the Lacey Act. Anyone who finds one must kill it immediately and report to authorities. Why such an extreme reaction? Because each discovered population represents a potential ecological collapse. In Florida, after removing the 400 fish in Manatee County, research in surrounding waters revealed that no snakeheads had spread beyond the pond. But this doesn't eliminate concern. Constant monitoring is needed to ensure they were eradicated. Let's look at the frightening numbers. Florida's Burmese pythons, which have already caused an unprecedented ecological catastrophe eliminating more than 90% of part of the small and medium mammal wildlife in the Everglades, reproduce at a speed we considered alarming. But snakehead surpassed them in virtually every aspect. While pythons lay dozens of eggs, snakeheads lay thousands. Snakeheads dominate water and land. While pythons suffer from low temperatures, snakeheads resist extreme environmental conditions, including droughts. But there's a crucial difference. Unlike pythons, which establish themselves and spread uncontrollably, snakeheads are still being actively fought. Each discovered population results in massive eradication operations. A snakehead can grow up to 3 feet and weigh up to 15 pounds in Florida, although erroneous reports speak of 6-foot fish weighing 66 pounds. Even so, the real size is already sufficiently terrifying. What makes this even more frightening is that these fish are practically indestructible. They tolerate stagnant, polluted waters with low oxygen. They survive droughts. They resist extreme temperatures. And when conditions become impossible, they simply leave the water and walk until they find a new home. The question isn't whether they've been controlled. The question is, where will the next location be where they appear? And when they appear, remember, they can leave the water, breathe air, hunt on land, reproduce at a speed that makes Burmese python seem harmless, and survive in conditions that would kill any other fish. The most feared predator than Florida's pythons is still out there. And perhaps, much closer to you than you imagine. After all, if someone managed to transport snakeheads from Thailand to Florida, and then from Florida to Missouri, who guarantees they're not being transported to other places at this very moment? If you enjoyed this content about biological invaders, leave your like and subscribe to the channel. And tell me in the comments, 
What other bio like me to address in the next video?